hi welcome back um it's vlogmas day 20 bitch we have five days to go five days and it's crazy because i feel like vlogmas is fun vlogmas is cool but a i'm a little tired <laughs> i'm a little tired b i feel like i can't pump out the creative content that i really want because I have to finish everything in one day. So there's like certain videos that are gonna take me a few days to film that I wanna create, because I feel like Vlogmas has kind of made me more creative, but I have to put all these things on hold because I'm posting daily, right? So if I have like this intricate skit and this and that and locations, I'm not saying that's what I have, but like, you know, if I did, I can't do that all in one day, bring it home, edit it, upload it, tag it, thumbnail it. I need time so after vlogmas I think I'm gonna take a week off maybe a week and a half and then start pumping out like weekly or twice a week content that's more quality and I'm really excited for that because vlogmas is definitely taking up a lot of my time anyways I've had fun with it today's video is just like a random little life update because I have to go drive home to my parents house I'm gonna go hang out with my family and I'm gonna try a holiday drink from Tim Hortons. I know, I know, Tim Hortons, I know, I know, I don't go there. I'm gonna see if there's some type of drink that's like holiday themed. Life update, this is not an update, I don't know, whatever, it's just a talking video. So the other day I filmed a video where I drank and did makeup. I did, it was a drunk, getting blackout makeup tutorial. I don't know what it's called, it's not uploaded yet, but it was crazy because I literally, had about seven shots in that whole video which is crazy and on top of that i had three or four shots after what and i never passed out i never blacked out i never threw up i never anything was i like you know, like pretty out of it eventually yes and luckily my boyfriend was there to take care of me it was just so weird because i feel like someone of my body shape should not handle liquor the way that I do and it's so weird it always trips me out but yeah like I never like threw up or anything which is great um, but I did fall asleep like I mind you it was like 3 4 a.m. so at a normal time but it was just weird because I don't remember falling asleep and I always remember falling asleep so that was different for me because I haven't drank like that in a minute so that video was fun but when I was looking at the footage I was like damn you couldn't be a little funnier like why aren't you sloppy? Like everybody gets so sloppy in these and I thought I was gonna give you guys that, but it's like not that crazy. Like I wish it was a little crazier, but yeah, so that was the video. The next day I felt like shit. It reminded me why I don't really drink like that anymore because it just wastes the whole following day and you just feel disgusting. That's all there is to say about that. I am in the drive-thru right now and there's so many cars. People in Canada love Tim Hortons. Why? couldn't tell you in my opinion it's trash like I don't like it it's just mm, 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 doesn't taste good doesn't taste good the only thing I like from here is French vanilla but I have to add two milks to it because it's so sweet that I can't even I can't even drink it and then when I add the milks I get sick because I'm lactose intolerant and anyways hi do you guys have any holiday drinks holiday drinks we have candy cane candy cane what Hot chocolate, uh, white hot chocolate, maybe a hot chocolate. Okay, I'll try candy cane hot chocolate, please. What size? Um, me, small, small. Regular one or the white one? I'll try the white one. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank you. I'm like, do you have holiday drinks? She's like, yeah, we have candy cane. Okay, <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> so tomorrow is the Great Conjunction. Do you guys know what that is? Because, um, fuck, I forget what it is. Like, I know what it is, but I forget the scientific explanation behind it, and I know I should probably know that, but I forget. It's something to do with Saturn and Jupiter and the planetary movements and blah, 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 and entering a new um, something in Capricorn. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Hi. Dab it, please. Thank you. This is my drink. They have little holiday cups at Tim Hortons. Wow, so cute and festive. I don't even know how much that was. Probably like $2. That looks disgusting. There's fucking candy cane. Oh, you can't see. Oh my God, there's a car behind me. There's a car behind me. Ah! Guys, there's whipped cream and candy cane on top. You know what? I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. 
It's a holiday drink and it's, ugh. Oh, that smells bad. That smells bad. Oh my God, oh my God. But you know what, I fucked up. You know why? Because I don't like mint. I don't like mint at all. In fact, it makes me gag. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm gonna try it once it cools down a bit. So, yeah. The Great Conjunction, apparently there's supposed to be some shift in people that are aligning with their higher selves and trying to go to 5D and all that stuff. Like that's something that can happen. And apparently things will change after depending on what kind of person you are. I don't know if I believe in that per se. I think it's like more like if you want to tune into your 5D, you can. Let me try this out while I'm stopped. Bro, I hate whipped cream. I hate whipped cream. Can you guys see it? It's too bright. It's too bright, I'm sorry. I would adjust it, but I won't have time to put it back after. Ugh, so sweet. Oh my god, it's so sweet. So the way that I'm going to use this um, conjunction to my advantage is by doing a meditation, probably when everyone's doing the global mass meditation. So I know a lot of people are taking part in that at once. I'm going to do a different type of meditation, but at the same time, because energies are high, blah, blah, blah. And I'm probably going to um, do like a 5D shift meditation. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much when you are tuning into your higher self's energetic field and trying to become one with it. So if you don't know what that means, pretty much there's 3D and there's 5D. The reality that we're currently living in is 3D. 5D is our higher self, it's the reality that we want to usually become. So for example, my 5D version could be a, n a number one best-selling author and a crazy ass giant YouTube star, podcast is thriving, love life is thriving, all those things, right? My 3D is the reality that I'm currently present in, what I know. 5D is more than that, it's energy, right? So when I wanna tune into my 5D, aka my higher self, I can, because there's multiple different realities that we're kinda of going through and living through. So this is just a reality we happen to be tuned into right now, but if we wanna tune into the frequency of our other reality, we can do that. And if you wanna do that, you just have to align yourself with the way that your 5D self is living. So it's a lot deeper than what I'm saying and one day I can make a video on it. You know what, I will make a video on it. But um, pretty much what I'm doing on the 21st of December is I'm gonna do the meditation by Aaron Doughty, which is pretty much becoming your 5D self and tuning into that reality. So your reality shifting and you're tuning into that frequency. You can jump back and forth between realities. And that's usually what I believe is deja vu. I don't know if anybody's ever talked about that, but I think deja vu is like this shit that you're hearing and say, saying and seeing and remembering as if it's happened before. To me, I believe that's all something that has happened before in another reality. And I think the realities are aligning with each other for a couple seconds and similar, like you, you've been led down similar paths to be in that same moment in this reality and another reality. And that's where you feel like you've experienced that feeling before when you have deja vu because you have. You're currently like a couple seconds behind and it's happening in your other reality. <laughs> so I don't know where my mind just went. I felt like I just blacked out and said all that, but I hope it made sense. Long story short, I'm doing Aaron Dowdy's meditation on the 21st of December, so I'll put the link to that in the description below. It's a really cool meditation. I did it for 21 days and my life did change. And then I kind of fell off because I got depressed and then like, <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but yeah. So that's happening. What are you guys doing on the 21st of December? Are you guys doing anything specific? Let me know in the comments down below. So, oh, it's over, I'm overheating right now. I'm overheating. So Christmas is literally around the corner. It's the 20th, it's five days away. We celebrate on the 24th, so it's four days away. 
and I'm just it's it's so crazy because it's been a year since corona started popping up in the news because I remember corona was a thing in December I just didn't really think it was real come January it was like talked about so it's literally been a year since corona popped up and it's just crazy that here we are today life is not back to normal who knows when it will be and that is terrifying because time has gone by so fast and sometimes I feel like we were robbed of a year of our lives but I hate looking at it that way because we weren't we really weren't I feel selfish when I say that Christmas is different this year I'm only spending it with my immediate family um, usually we have like a whole celebration at my house tons of people tons of cousins tons of nieces and nephews and like that's not happening this year and that's so sad other than that it's just like gonna be a pretty quiet Christmas this year which is so crazy but we do have a new little niece um, my little niece Arlo is a baby she's born in March she's a little COVID baby and it's so crazy because we we haven't had like she hasn't met anyone in the family yet. and this year would have been the year that everybody would meet little Arlo and by the time they all meet her she's gonna be like two years old because you know those family members that only come around at Christmas it's it's so weird so that's happening um, I don't even know what else is happening New Year's oh my god what is happening for New Year's I don't know I don't like New Year's I'm not a fan uh, not of like I'm not a fan of bringing in the new year I'm just not a fan of celebrating New Year's because I am disappointed every single year I always have really high expectations but Toronto is just oversaturated and there's nowhere to go obviously there's nowhere to go this year because COVID but because of new because of the way that the city is everything's just too chaotic like everything's packed or overpriced obviously it's like that in every city pretty much but you'll pay $75 to get into a club on New Year's Eve and you got to buy your tickets in advance and advance they're 50 bucks and they get more and more pricey then you got to line up in the cold then you got to try and get an uber which is impossible and the surge price is bringing up to $200 I'm just I'm not a fan last year I went to dinner and I spent three dollars three dollars on my freaking drink and I was so depressed because I was like freshly heartbroken and I like teared up by myself um, and I like kind of teared up for like half a second uh, when nobody was really looking at me and it was a really sad time and I didn't get drunk or anything I literally had a drink and then I went home and I I don't know what I did I think I ate or I don't know what I did I think I just went to bed or went on live or something it was a bad time it was sad every year I'm disappointed with it and yeah it's just I don't really care for New Year's I would be perfectly fine with just spending it with my boyfriend um, but now it's just different because I have a roommate so before it would have been like more intimate we could have hung out at, in my apartment and like done something cute but now because I have a roommate I also have to keep in mind like what if she has people over she's probably gonna have her man over she's gonna do her own thing so I might just like I don't know I don't know we'll figure it out but definitely gonna be very low-key and probably just the two of us um, let me try this drink again while I'm still driving because I'm almost gonna be done my drive oh my god I'm so sorry I can't drink that I have to throw it out it's disgusting I hate wasting my money and you know what I told myself like Ashley no one really cares if you get a holiday drink just get a French vanilla and I was telling myself that but I was like no it's Christmas, it's Vlogmas, and I haven't done much Christmas stuff, so I'm gonna get a holiday drink. And look at me, like, so silly, so silly. Anyways, I should go, I'm getting pretty close, and yeah, I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed this little life update. Happy Vlogmas, happy holidays. I have a few more videos to go, and then I'm taking my little break. But thanks for keeping up with me on Vlogmas. I hope you've been enjoying my content, and I'll see you guys tomorrow i think tomorrow is the drunk makeup video i think i think that's tomorrow so stay tuned <laughs> okay bye guys